team like Kyrie and KD Or the Lake Show with King James and AD Wish I could match him up with the bad boys from the 80s But no black and white, I need that in HD Yeah, dog. Yo, what's good y'all? It's your boy Ant Hen Dog and we back to it. You know how we do it. NBA legends on why Dr. J was better than everyone. Let's get into it, man. But before we do, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're on the way to 10K. So you right there that's watching, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Go ahead and like this video if you liked it. Go ahead and write something in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel about Dr. J. Julius Irvin, the guy that they call a doctor and he doesn't have a doctor. How good you gotta be for that? I was doing a um, public interview in Vegas and that was what one of the guys was saying. He was like, yeah, my favorite player of all time is Dr. J. He was like, yeah, the only person out here that can be called a doctor and ain't got a doctorate degree. And I'm like, you might be right. It ain't too many people out here. I don't even think he even want to be called a doctor, but... That's for a whole nother story, man. But let's get into this video, man. We got NBA legends on why Dr. J was better than everyone. Let's get it. Ooh, this how it starts? That's how it starts? Shout out to winning time, man. We recreated that play in season one. And that was one of the things that they said about Dr. J. They said uh, he was the one that was the man. He was the man before uh, before Larry Bird and Magic came in the league. And you know, once they came in the league, he kind of passed the torch, or they kind of took the torch. But that's for a whole other story. But let's just let Sean talk. Let's just Sean talk. Back to the basketball time machine. In today's episode, I want to take a look at NBA legends, giving their opinion about how good the great and amazing Dr. J. Julius Irvin was. But before we dive into that, let me ask you guys for a small favor. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you enjoy the content. All right, enough said. Let's get right into it. Yeah, they said the Bird Gang. The Bird Gang said, no, he didn't pass the torch. He... Larry Bird took the took the torch. Let's get right into it. Yeah, they said uh, the Bird Gang. Shout out to the Bird Gang. They said no. Nah, Dr. J didn't pass the torch to them. Larry Bird took the torch. I'm just like, all right, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Today's video is brought to you by H1. What jersey you got on, Sean? Rates. AG1 combines jersey, you know, I ain't never seen him with jersey. together as one in a daily nutritional. Athletic Green's not paying us either, either, so we ain't gonna talk about them. Now, the first player's opinion that we're gonna take a look at is the work former really teammate curious. of Dr. Jace and one of the greatest TV analysts of all time, Sir Charles Barkley. Let's hear what he has to say. Dr. Jace probably in more highlights than any player in NBA history. It's a very short list. I'm gonna say that. Is that true? Sports Center. Is Dr. J has the most highlights ever? I don't know. I gotta get that to Jordan, but Charles Barkley might know something. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Some of the older people. I don't want to call oh, the OGs. I ain't gonna call y'all old heads, but the OGs. Do do. Uh, Dr. J have a whole bunch of uh, highlights. Let me know. Like what top, I can do today. Ben more than Jordan. Be the top one of the top ten players like every night. I mean that's how that's how iconic. I mean, he made a play every game, and obviously it was a different time. But he would be on that sports center top ten all the time nowadays. Big ass hands, man. Now everywhere we went, you know, everybody talk about Dr. J. Obviously, I knew what he could do because I played against him in practice, and and. Uh, you know, I, I wasn't starting, so, you know, we played against the starting team, and so I, I saw what he was able to do, and it was, he could do everything, you know, um, you know, he had the mid-range jumper, you know, he could get by anybody, he'd dunk on anybody, you know, uh, all different kind of ways, he's one of the guys that, you know, it was probably kind of scary how he dunked the ball, you know. Um. That's what I was going to ask, though, was he a great shooter, though? 
Like, let's talk about it. You know, I'm not really here to, you know, talk about people's flaws. We're going to talk about how great he was, but when we want to put him in that category of top five, top ten all time, we got to talk about it. Was his jump shot good enough for us to put him in, the, you know, one of the greatest players of all time, greatest top five, top ten players of all time? Let me know in the comments, man. You know, his hands was big. He palmed the ball really. Hands was huge. I mean, he was special, man. Still is special to me. But Doc was the doctor. I owe a lot of my early part of my career to the doctor. Now, the next player's opinion that we're going to take a look at is from He's Michael Jordan, who obviously was inspired and influenced a lot by Julius Dr. J. Irvin. Let's take a look. So mm. was Go. You know, he brought so much creativity to the game. Here comes Julius Irvin. You know what's that? You know, the under the hand against the Lakers, we are behind the basket. We all try to do it once he did it. That's so tough. I guess I would have never had those visions if, if I hadn't seen Dr. J in his time. I definitely remember uh, he was, uh, I was at that, that, that stage, I guess, where I really got into basketball uh, when he was sort of in his prime. Uh, Dr. J, to me, was the NBA. And uh, I just remember him dunking on everybody. <laughs> yeah. Come here, Bill Warden. Some guys in the league that when you played them the first time, it was special. And so I, I, we, we don't play Philly for a while in my rookie year. And we play them there. We, we go in the locker room in Philly, in this the old spectrum, and the locker room's quiet. We have a bunch of kind of fun guys that yap a little bit. It was a whole different vibe when we played the Sixers because the year before, in 1980, the Sixers beat the Celtics in the conference finals, Eastern Conference finals, led by Dr. J. So uh, that morning at shoot-around, uh, ML Carr says, okay, if you can guard knock, he said, you just really got to make him go left. You know, and I said, don't, you know, don't let him go right. So the first time I get up on Dr. J, like I, I jump up on his right hand, you know, and he kind of gets the ball and he got those big hands, and he kind of gives me a little jab step, and then he throws it around me, and he, and he goes right, you know, and, and I'm Still thinking, don't let him go right, you got to make him go left. So the next time he gets the ball, he's on the wing, I am so far on his right hand, I mean, I'm like, I'm, I'm like almost out of bounds, I'm standing on his right hand so hard, trying to make him go left. Well, he goes left but he does it with his right hand he throws the ball out here i'm so far and he dumps it back this way back over on me and i went like so i come over the bench and you know and and, and um you know i, I look at him i'll come and i go like oh my god he said i said i'm trying to make him go left he said well i didn't say it was easy you guys one of the best players who ever played i just told you make him go left and i just started laughing i thought if you made him go left he couldn't play and so yeah you know, i never said it'd be easy and that was, I remember, that was my first time of guarding Dr. J and playing against him. Dr. J could do things in today's game guys cannot do. Imagine. Julius truly was a legend. Shout to Philly. The entertainment, my friend, is in the style. Man. The grace. Julius was like that bird coming in on the wing, swooping in. We always looked at Dr. J as like an alien. Where did this guy come from? <laughs> you know, look at what he does out on the court. My God, you know, there was nobody like him. Me and Dad thought this over there. Oh, my. Oh, this was that? was the first guy I ever saw with air brakes. Air brakes. Air brakes? He was going to the basket straight, and all of a sudden, he said, It's not going sideways. How did he do that? Landsberger. Like, somewhat like a girl. Oh! <laughs> uh, seeing him fly through the air, uh, the first time What's I up, ever saw him do it actually was at a basketball camp. It was at a uh, Magic Johnson's basketball camp in Lansing, and this is my first year in the league. I hadn't I hadn't really got into the NBA yet, and we were barnstorming in the summer. And Dr. J made an appearance at Magic Camp, and I never forget. You know, all of us and the kids, we standing around the around the court on the baseline and he's got us clapping and you know he starts from the other end of the court and he just takes off running but he's not bouncing the ball he's just running with it and I had never seen anybody just run with the basketball and normally you know as a basketball player you bounce it get your rhythm bounce 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 jump hey. he just starts running with it and everybody's clapping boom 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 
and all of a sudden this dude jumped and I said to myself, oh, he's not going to make it. And he goes, who? He made it. I go, he's not going to make it. And he goes, ooh. <laughs> I don't think he's going to make it. And then he, it's like he hit another gear in the air and it's like, and he like exploded and he got to the rim, knocked it down. He doing the that whole so place, easy. you know, went up, you know. All the kids just ran out, started hugging them because you know you had never seen anything like that. Here's the most interesting part that I remember about that: we were outside. That didn't happen indoor, a nice, fancy place. It was outside on the concrete, and he did that. So how good was Dr. J in my opinion? Well, I gotta be honest, Dr. J in my opinion is not only one of the most influential players of all time, but I got him in my top 25. Not only top because 25. he had this great athleticism, but the way he carried himself and how important he was for the NBA, I think we don't give him enough credit. So Dr. J, much love to you. And to you guys, thanks a lot for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed the content. Shout out to Sean David for the video. And yeah, I think that's kind of the the overall consensus that I get is that, you know, all these great players like uh, Larry Bird, uh, Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, uh, LeBron James, like all of these players, they all look up to Dr. J. So all the players that we call the GOATs, they all favorite player is Dr. J. So he's basically everybody's favorite player, favorite player. So I hope y'all enjoyed that video. I definitely did. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You right there. You that's watching, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, man. I appreciate it in advance. Go ahead and like this video if you liked it. And go ahead and write something in the comments. Let me know where Dr. J ranks all time. Sean David just said he in his top 25. I know some people are not going to like that. They're going to probably feel that's a little disrespectful. But hey, there's no right or wrong answer, man. I like everybody's opinion. I love all the comments that I get. Everybody's just opinions on everything, man. I love it. That's what keeps me going. Just, you know, waking up one morning, just looking at the comments and just seeing how everybody feel about basketball. And it's what keeps us together. You know, a lot of y'all don't even know. We don't know what nobody looks like. We don't, we don't know. Some people is in Russia, uh, Texas, Ohio, California, Japan, like everywhere, everywhere. We've got these people in these comments, man, but we all come together because of basketball. And I think that's super cool. But I appreciate y'all, man, and I'll see y'all soon. We out.